What is up digital creators? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add quotes to your website using Web Studio's block quote component. To get started with the block quote component, head over to your components, find the block quote component and drag it onto your canvas. From there, you can edit the content of your quote by double clicking on the text. We're gonna paste a quote of our own into this text. You can also add a source to your quote. To do so, simply add a new text component inside of your block quote. Go into the settings and change the tag from div to site. We're now gonna style our quote. By default, block quotes have padding on the left and right. All of these can be changed with your style panel. Let's start off by styling our text. I'm going to select the text within our block quote and I'm going to apply a design token to style this text. Let's add some gradient to it. And then also going to add some padding below it. And I'm gonna move my source text onto the next line by changing its display inline to block. There, I'm going to quickly add my source and I'm also going to add some padding above my source text. The last thing I wanna change on my quote today is the border. I'm gonna select my block quote again, scroll down to the border styles in my styles panel. I'm going to increase the width to eight pixels. I'm gonna change the color to a color that better represents my brand. And there you have it. That is how you can add quotes to your website using Web Studio's block component. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see in a future video. Make sure you follow, subscribe, and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest Web Studio progress. And in the meantime, I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.